<laughs> okay, okay. This was not a good movie, but damn if I didn't have fun watching it. <laughs> okay, okay, so... You know what it's about. It's a fucking haunted doll story. And, yeah. If you've seen the trailer, like, you've already know, like, the first 20 minutes of the movie. So, yeah. This girl named Greta goes to the UK to look after this kid for this elderly couple. And she gets there. She meets the grocery guy. He tells her about some stuff. But before he can tell her about the son, um, like, the parents show up and they tell her, oh, there's all these rules you gotta follow. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to learn a lot of stuff. But first, let's introduce you to our son, Brahms. And, yeah, Brahms is a fucking doll. No spoilers there, you already know it. So, yeah. So, apparently there's this big list of rules you gotta follow just to look after this fucking doll, and they know it's weird. Like, the dad knows it's weird, and he's like, I know this is strange, but you have to understand, our son is here. Mm. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, they leave eventually because they're going on vacation for like three months. It's crazy. So, yeah, they just met this chick. They're just gonna leave their son with her for three months. So they're all nervous and shit, but they get gone. And, yeah, Greta does what anyone else would do. She just covers the doll up with a blanket because he creeps her out and then does whatever the fuck she wants. I'd do that. That's what I would do. So, yeah. She makes herself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, drinks some wine, goes to sleep, and then when she wakes up, she sees that the blanket she was using to cover Brahms has fallen off. Or maybe got thrown off. Whatever. So, she picks up Brahms, throws him into a chair in his room, and, yeah. Then she just leaves him there and goes to sleep. That's what I would do. So... <laughs> she wakes up in the middle of the night because she hears like a kid crying or whatever and yeah instead of like leaving the bed with her phone as a flashlight she grabs a candle that was lit for some reason because spooky and she stops hearing the crying but she stops and inspects this like portrait of the family and she takes a really close look at like the painting of Brahms and then BAM! His arm comes out and chokes her, and then she wakes up. This is a fake jump scare. There's- there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Okay, so... <laughs> she goes to check on Brahms, for real this time, and she sees it looks like he's crying, like there's a tear running down his face, but no, it was just a leaky ceiling. So she throws him on the bed, and then... She goes about her day and ignores him. So... Yeah. I don't think anything else happened that day. So, eventually, the grocery guy shows up again with her payment and uh, the groceries, and she's like, okay, dude, level with me. What the fuck is the deal with Brahms? So, he shows her Brahms' grave, and he says, you know, in 93, there was a fire, and Brahms didn't make it. Very sad. So, he's like, he probably would have been my age if he was still alive today. So... Then he asks her out on a date. Like, well, they say professional outing because they're trying to give these two sort of a comedic relationship. It, it kind of works. Um, so she agrees, and later on she's getting ready for their date. And, yeah. So she gets in the shower, and she sets her necklace and her... and her dress on a thing in the bathroom, and then while she's in the shower, I guess it's supposed to be Brahms, who the fuck else would it be, comes in, takes the dress, and takes the necklace. And she gets out of the shower and she's like, the fuck, bro? So then she goes back to her bedroom and all of her clothes are gone. Just all of them. And she flips out, because I would too, and <laughs> then she sees like this, this ladder that leads up to the attic, has been opened like it's down, and it wasn't before, so she climbs up it to see if somebody's up there. Why not? So then she gets up there, and the door closes behind her, trapping her in. And at this point, if this were a different movie with, like, a real little kid, you could just say this is, like, fucking Dennis the Menace. He's being more annoying than anything else. 
So she she sees like through a a window or a grate or whatever that the grocery guy is coming up to the door and she tries to call to him. He can't hear her and she can't get out because the windows are painted shut or some shit. So she turns around and then she gets scared by something in the shadows just turned out to be like a, I don't know, like a stand or something. And she falls back, hits her head and passes out until the morning. And yeah, then when she wakes up, she's like, ah, shit. So then she walks over and she sees like it's like a booklet or a scrapbook full of pictures of Brahms and she's like oh okay whatever and then bam the door to the attic opens like nothing fucking happened so then she walks down she goes back into her bedroom all of her clothes are back of course so she calls the grocery guy explains to him what happened I kind of expected that he wouldn't believe her but he did I guess and he checks out the house just to see, like, that nobody, like, broke in or anything. And he, she invites him to, like, stay a little bit longer. And they start talking. And, um, like, they're in, they're playing, like, billiards. And, like, she says, like, okay, you've got to be honest with me. What is the real, real deal with Brahms? And... He says, like, this little girl used to come and visit Brahms every week, and eventually, like, on Brahms' eighth birthday, she came to visit, but she didn't come back, and then they found her body in the woods or some shit, and then when they went to go, when the police came to question everybody, um, the house was on fire. Fair enough. So, yeah, Brahms died in that fire, and the parents survived, and... Then they just did that creepy shit with the doll. Yeah, it was weird. So, yeah. So, like, I think the grocery guy, he leaves, and she goes to bed, and she she wakes up the next morning, goes to check on Brahms, and, well, actually... Yeah, she goes to check on Brahms, and she's like, she sees him looking at her through, like, the hallway, or, because, like, she's on one side of the hallway, he's on the other, and she sees him looking at her from the bed, and she gets kind of creeped out, because who wouldn't? And she goes, like, I'm just gonna turn your face this way, and then, bam, his face turns back all on its own, and then she wakes up, because it's another fake jump scare. Oh my god, a lot of those. Anyway... <sighs> This is where it starts getting kind of spooky, because she goes over there for real this time, and yeah, um, Brahms is actually sitting up on the bed, which is still kind of spooky, and his, like, he's got like his list of rules on a clipboard next to him, and she flips the fuck out, like a lot actually, a bit more than necessary, but she flips the fuck out, goes and hides in her room, locks the door, tries to call somebody on this telephone that she's got next to her, um, yeah, line's dead. Who knew? So, <laughs> um, yeah, and then the phone starts ringing, and she's like, shit, maybe somebody's calling to help me, and she, she picks it up, <laughs> and on the other end is a little British boy saying, come play with me, Greta. <laughs> it was so fucking silly. <laughs> okay, okay, and then... Then she sees, she hears footsteps outside of her door, and when they leave, she opens the door, and she sees a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich sitting on the ground on a tray, and Brahms is still sitting on the bed. So, she starts believing that he's alive, and she goes over, reads his list, and she's like, is this what you want? And then she starts actually doing her fucking job, and looking after the doll, and generally being creepy, because, like, you know, that's fucking creepy. And while this is going on, we flash over to what the parents are doing while they're on their vacation. And yeah, apparently they're writing a letter to Brahms saying goodbye. And then they walk into a lake with rocks in their pockets and they kill themselves. All right, fuck it. <laughs> like, fine. Oh my God. 
they just, I don't know why they killed themselves, they just did it. And then the grocery guy comes over and then Greta tries to convince him that that Brahms is alive and yeah like she does this thing where like they close the door and they come back and Brahms is like on the other side of the room and yeah that was cool like you know if you like if you could take this to the newspapers you can make a shitload of money off of it just fucking saying but they don't so yeah so she convinces him that the doll is alive and she puts him to bed later and then the grocery guy's in her bedroom and they're they're getting ready to do it and this was a bad move because they're in a horror movie and that's the number one rule you do not fuck in a horror movie but they still tried to fuck in this horror movie so like Brahms is looking through the keyhole at them and then he starts playing his music really loud and then he appears in the music room and they're just like, what the fuck? And so she puts him back to bed and they're talking downstairs and the grocery guy's like, you know, maybe you should spend the night in town because like maybe this ghost isn't like a good ghost. But she disagrees and she's like, I'm staying with Brahms. And yeah. So then, hmm. The grocery guy leaves and... We find out, like, over the telephone that somehow, like, like, Greta had an abusive ex-boyfriend and somehow he found out about her, her location or wherever the fuck she was. And she comes downstairs the next day and kazam, he's fucking there. Like, he got on a fucking flight to the UK just to get there and he broke the fuck in and he's like, I'm here to take you back home. And, like... (laughs) Like, seriously, this fucking asshole, he just, he shows up and he's like, I've got a ticket, we can take you back home. And then the grocery guy shows up again and, like, then eventually he leaves. She's like, I have a plan, but he ditches out anyway. And he pre- he pretends to leave, but he really sleeps in his car. And while that's going on, um, Greta gives her ex some blankets and lets him sleep in the billiards room. And then she takes... <laughs> She takes Brahms upstairs and she's she lies in bed with him and she's like, don't worry, Brahms, I'm never leaving you, but I need your help on this one. And I'm just like, is she calling in a hit from the afterlife? And then she wakes up a few hours later to her ex-boyfriend screaming and you see like on the wall, it's written get out in blood. Like fucking of course. So he starts screaming and then he's like, he's like, are you trying to tell me that the doll did this? And she's like, yeah. And he's like, okay, give me the doll. And then she runs away from him with Brahms. And <laughs> he, he eventually grabs the doll from her. And then the grocery guy hears it. He comes running back in too. And eventually the ex-boyfriend gets so pissed off that he just takes the doll by the leg and smashes the shit out of it on a chair. And it was like, oh shit because it was awesome. And then and then you think this movie's just like the house starts shaking, shit's getting really weird, and you're just like, yeah, okay, so the whole house is going to be haunted now. <sighs> but this part, this part, this is where the movie went from generic haunted doll horror movie to fucking hilarious. I'm not even kidding. And this this twist was actually spoiled for me by somebody making a fucking guess in the comments of the trailer for this movie, okay? You're not even gonna believe it. It's- it's beautifully hilarious. Okay, okay. So, the ex-boyfriend, he hears some shaking going on behind a mirror, and he's like, I hear something, and then, bam! Like, the mirror just, like, explodes outwards, and, (laughs) like, the boyfriend is, like, lying on the ground, He might be unconscious, I don't really know. Um, And then, like, a hand comes out from, like, a hole behind the mirror, and there's just like, who the fuck is that? (laughs) It's Brahms. (laughs) Yes, the twist was is that Brahms is actually an adult man living in the walls of this house, and he was moving the doll around the whole time. 
Somebody guessed that in the comments on the trailer of this bit on, on the trailer for this fucking movie, and they were right. They they fucking guessed, dude. Like I guess it should have been obvious, like really. But like, you know, all those fucking fake out jump scares kind of got to me. So yeah. And he's not like a regular dude either. He's wearing a mask that looks like Brahms the doll. Like, are you fucking kidding me? So it basically goes from being like a haunted doll movie to a Halloween movie because he's a mostly silent killer that's like going after them. So he breaks out of the fucking mirror. He attacks the grocery guy, attacks the ex-boyfriend, and he grabs like a piece of like the porcelain doll and he stabs him in the neck and he is dead. So then... (laughs) Then, the grocery guy and Greta, they fucking haul ass. They just book it. And they get upstairs, and they hide in... They hide in Brahm's bedroom, and they find out, like, he's been using these fucking tunnels in the walls to get around, and they see a door that's open behind the fireplace in his room. Oh yeah, that's right. The dad had said earlier that, like, the fireplaces don't work anymore. That was so Brahms could just, like, sneak around and shit. Oh my god. Good foreshadowing. Anyway, so they start sneaking through, like, the back tunnels of this fucking house, and Brahms is still chasing after them. They, like, knock him out a couple times, but he still keeps coming. And, um... Then they get into Brahms' lair. Like, okay, super fucking creepy. He's got, like, a workshop, everything he needs, he's got a bed, and he's also got a creepy fucking doll of of Greta with the fucking dress he stole covering it, and then she finds the letter from Brahms' parents, like, he found it, whatever, and, yeah, she reads it, and, like, it turns out he's been, like, doing this forever, like, they left her to him so that he could, like, keep her or kill her. I don't know what the fucking plan was. So, yeah. Then they escape, and they start, like, going through some more tunnels. And, of course, Brahms finds them again, and he ends up attacking the grocery guy while Greta's about to leave. And then, like, he looks at her, and he, like, does this creepy kid's voice, and he's like, don't leave me, Greta. And, like, then she escapes. And you can hear him yelling, behind her and she starts booking it to the front gate and then she has like a moment of like consciousness and she's just like shit no i can't let that other dude die so she goes back grabs like a screwdriver or some shit something sharp and she goes back and she sees brahms and she's like brahms i came back just like you wanted and then she says brahms it's time for bed and he actually goes to bed like All right, fine. So (laughs) she takes him into his bedroom and like he goes to sleep and like he's he's like about to go to sleep and as she's leaning in to kiss him because that's one of the things on the list, like you got to give him a kiss goodnight. She grabs the screwdriver, stabs him in the stomach and like you'd think that'd be it, but no, he like pushes her off with, like, monster strength. She hits a wall, and he's choking the shit out of her, but then she grabs, like, the screwdriver, and she, like, drives it in further, and then he, like, passes out or dies or something. Then she she goes to get the grocery guy, and they escape. They're free to go. Yeah, they made it. It It's kind of obvious that that they were gonna live, you know? Kind of obvious. And then... Bam, back to the house. Brahms is not dead. And we see him in like his little workshop in his fucking lair and <laughs> and he's putting the doll back together and it still looks creepy, which I guess was supposed to bait for a sequel, like it zooms in on the doll's face and then it goes black. At least it wasn't a fucking jump scare, am I right? Okay, so yeah. Not a good movie. It's not. It's not a good movie. But that ending was fucking hilarious. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, it's just like, oh yeah, Brahms is like an adult man living in the walls of his house. <laughs> oh my god. That was hilarious. And I know it's a horror movie, it's not supposed to be funny, but god damn if that didn't make me laugh. Ah, uh, that was... That was wonderful. Well done. Like, really. If you're gonna do, like, a twist on the whole haunted doll thing, good on ya, even though a dude in the comments section called it out first. Well done on that guy, too, I guess. So, yeah. I guess it's a fairly good twist if you didn't... If you didn't see it coming at all, fairly good. Yeah. Not bad. I, I had fun. I had a lot of fun watching this movie. Ugh. I can't really recommend you go see it, but if you think you would find that funny, might be worth it. It it might be, okay? <laughs> oh, man. That, that was fun. Okay. That's all I gotta say. See ya.